Aloha YouTube, this is Kai Turner from Aqua Ninja. You can see him rocking a nice Aqua Ninja merch. You can check out the links in the description below if you actually acquire this. I'm reviewing today the Nissan Versa Note SE. Now, we talked about compact cars before, but this is a subcompact car, of course it is. What that basically means is it's super small, as you can see from the dimensions, as well as having this here hatchback. Now, the hatchback basically allows it to be, have a little bit more storage space than a really, really small car, but while giving it the convenience to be able to seat up to five people in a car like this. Let's check it so, out. So, upon popping the hood with the hood button. So, wow, under the hood of this bad boy, you can see probably one of the smallest engines I've ever come across. And that's because they really wanted to be fuel efficient. This bad boy is pushing out 109 horsepower with a 1.6 liter four cylinder uh, in a V configuration, of course, at 6,000 RPMs. Um, but now here's the crazy part with a car that has a nice apparent curb weight of about 3,000 pounds, this bad boy can actually get 39 miles per gallon on the highway, 31 in the city. That is incredible. So, very small, but very fuel efficient. Let's continue on the more features. This car is that it actually allows you to rev up without limiting how much you can rev up. I don't know why they put that in Nissan's, but it's actually a really good feature in this subcompact car. Check it out. So as you can see, we're in neutral. Let's rev it up. Notice, we can even redline if we want, and the car doesn't care. Not bad, not bad at all. Run down the features really quickly. You got a nice 6.2 inch screen right here, has the normal FM AM, you got XM radio built in for free, you got Bluetooth also. It even goes as far as to have an aux, which is down there, as well as CD and USB, and even iPod, which is really bringing it back. So no matter what type of media you have, this thing can play it. Uh, you got six CD changer, of course, uh, the steering, uh, the tuning and the, the how most did he say, the volume module. AC climate control works pretty simple. You got four nodules and you got the AC right there. Five way, uh, works out of the four vents that we talked about earlier. Down here, you got auxiliary, you got a USB. Now here's where this car actually excels at. You also have a cigarette lighter, which obviously you can bring up to two more USBs with those little uh, adaptable things. And you look down here, you have another USB uh, cigarette lighter thing. So that gives you a total of up to five ports to charge your devices. This car is really efficient in the things that it's efficient in. The gauge cluster is looking like this. You got your tachometer on one side. Red, red line is at about 6,500 RPMs. Not bad for a subcompact car. Uh, 140 on the uh, <laughs> speedometer, tested it out. Of course, max speed is 108 miles an hour. Not bad for this car in, of this segment. Uh, you can see you got the nice kind of semi-digital um, for the, you know, your extra information. You can actually switch that among this button right here, change the things in the middle. It's nice and cool. You got the uh, drive select for your cruise control in the right side. On the left side, you can control all your multimedia, you know, have your Bluetooth, your call things and the thing. Um, here, you actually have a traction control button. Now, like we talked about with the other Nissan models, Nissan loves to put traction control in their car, and that's a very weird thing. I don't know if they do it because they want people to drift in their cars or to get out of snow, as they would say. It's a very weird feature to put into a subcompact car. Seating wise, very nice seats. You can actually see the dual stitching for the 2018 models. Uh, not bad. For a car that costs, I'd say, sub-17, this is a really nice interior in terms of seating. That's how the seats look in the back. And let's check out what we got in the back so segment. Back here, we got the nice dome light. You got a lot of room. I mean, look, I'm 5'11", and I'm telling you right now, this is pretty comfortable. Like, you, I clearly have a lot of extra room. Um, not bad in, in terms of space. You got nice, good seating. You feel comfortable back here. You got your nice little C-pillar uh, 
extra window. I don't know why they put that back there. They also have one in the A pillar, which is that little window. And I don't know why they have them separate windows anyway, but looks pretty cool. This is how the back looks from the back seat. Pretty cool. We're going to check it out in two seconds. Of course, seconds. it wouldn't be an Aqua Ninja review if we didn't give it the F-Boy test, which is zero to 60, seeing how fast it goes, and doing all the sporty related review things. Let's get into it. Zero to 60 in this car is going to take a minute though. As we said before, this is a car that's pushing 109 horsepower. Yeah. 109 horsepower not 209 not 309 109 horsepower so this is the longest straightaway as you can see how far we're pushing it it's a pretty long straightaway so we're gonna be able to get out of here and close street it's a nice warehouse segment of Doral Medley so I'll let it rock in a couple of seconds we're getting to the end turning around open road let's go Pedal to the metal, flooring it right now. Just made a 60. So you can time that yourself. That was a legit zero to 60. Uh, probably, if I had to guess, probably about nine, 10, maybe even 11 seconds. Not bad for a subcompact car. Honestly, this is, this is a, a pleasurable car to review considering the segment that it's in. It's not bad at all. Now we gotta close out the review. Showing the trunk. Who makes a little futuristic noise, I like it. Nice, decent trunk space, of course, as you can see the whole trunk right here. It's pretty freaking amazing. For a car that's this small, most of the storage space is actually just this trunk and the back seats, if you don't have anybody in there. So up to five seats, nice trunk. Not horrible styling. Honestly, if you're looking for a sub $17,000 car and you need a lot of trunk space, this hatchback may be the car to get. 